I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science! Science you can do right at home. I'm told that I can pass this jar through the table and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says... How do magicians make it appear to pass solids through a solid? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a glass jar and some coins. Today we're going to do a trick with this jar and of course, a coin. What trick wouldn't be complete without it? <laughs> Don't answer that. Okay, so we're going to take the coin, put it in the hand, and then right through the jar. See that? Check it out. There's a coin inside the jar. Okay, so I personally don't like this method. In fact, I prefer this method here. We take the coin, and you can actually watch as the coin goes into the jar. That's pretty cool. Two coins are inside the jar. <laughs> but, you know, some people are like, okay, Chris, that is pretty wicked cool, but I want to see the coin actually pass through the jar in your hand. I want you to have the coin in your hand, and I want to see the coin actually pass through the jar as you tap the coin on your hand. And I couldn't agree with you more. So here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the coin is in the jar. Check that out. There's three coins in the jar. That's <laughs> pretty wicked cool. But I think I can do this a little bit better. In fact, I'm going to make it more difficult for me. I'm going to flip the jar upside down. Just put these coins back in the jar here. And then we'll take that fourth coin and we're going to go ahead and make that fourth coin disappear. And check it out. Inside the jar, one, two, three, four coins. So, do you think I passed four coins through a solid glass jar? Or do you think something else is going on? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. If we break this down step by step, we can get a good idea of how this was accomplished. The first two coins can only get into the jar through the opening at the top. This means that the magician does what's called a false transfer, where the magician makes it look like the coin is being placed into one hand. This allows the magician to drop the coins into the jar from the top. The third coin doesn't actually go into the jar. This is accomplished by using two coins. The magician grabs two coins and allows one of the coins to fall into the magician's palm. It's this palmed coin that is actually dropped into the jar. And then the magician simply hides the coin that's in his hand. The fourth coin gets into the jar because the magician has a secret palmed coin. So when the jar is flipped upside down, the fourth coin is added to the jar. All the magician has to do now is another false transfer and then reveal the fourth coin inside the jar. So now you know how magicians make it appear like solids pass through solids. You know, making it appear like coins are passing through a jar is why science is so cool.